Hi, I'm Diego Paris, an Imagineer with the Walt Disney Company. Disney parks are lands filled with much fantasy and magic. It's no wonder that many unique and interesting stories about the history of the parks live just beneath the surface. But beyond the magic lies a world of rich mythology. Now, for the first time, a program will be going behind the shroud of secrecy of Walt Disney Imagineering to help separate fact from fiction. Well, over the past 50 years, I'm sure many stories have been created. Um, I've heard that the very top of the castle is put on backwards. That the haunted house actually was haunted. So, <laughs> I heard there is a basketball court in Matterhorn. Today, I'm on Main Street USA in Disneyland in Southern California. The story we're investigating involves this. You see, there is a common Disney legend that one of Disneyland's most popular attractions contains a secret basketball court. Yeah, oh, there yeah. is. The top of the Matterhorn is supposed to have a basketball court. Disney fact or fiction? Let's find out. This is Disneyland's legendary Matterhorn Mountain, which opened up in 1959. This Matterhorn is a 1-100 scaled replica of the original in Zermatt, Switzerland. The genesis of Matterhorn came from a visit Walt made to Europe in the early 1950s. Walt has spent time in Switzerland filming a movie with James MacArthur called Third Man on the Mountain and he fell in love with the Swiss Alps. In particular, this very distinct looking mountain known as the Matterhorn. As he came back from that trip and said, you know, we're not gonna build the rock candy mountain that we had planned, we're gonna build the Matterhorn. At the same time, he went to his Imagineers and he said, you know, well, you know what can we do with it? We could build the Matterhorn, what can we put in it? And the Imagineers came up with a roller coaster type attraction. never bragged about things he did uh, that were technical. He buried the technical thing in, in making the magic, but the Matterhorn is the first tubular steel roller coaster in the world. Practically every coaster that's been built since the Matterhorn um, is built that way. And so, the Matterhorn was born. But the question remains, was a basketball court also part of Walt's plan? And legend has it, in order to build a building that tall in the city of Anaheim, it had to be some sort of athletic structure. I heard that there's supposed to be a basketball hoop in the Matterhorn. There yeah. yeah. Who plays basketball there, Goofy? Now this is what I call a view. I'm on top of the Matterhorn Mountain, 147 feet high. Everybody knows that Disney pays very close attention to detail. In fact, at Disneyland at the Matterhorn Mountain, there's a team of climbers that will scale the mountain to give the guests that real feeling of being in the Swiss Alps. When we create these things, they aren't cheap knockoffs. This is something that has attention to detail, not only in the way the rock work is created, but the way the snow is on the mountain and the way the vegetation is on the mountain. You'll notice on the Matterhorn, we've got more trees down below, and as they get higher up the mountain, the trees get smaller and they eventually disappear. Uh, again, it's that attention to detail that's gone into every mountain since then. Occasionally, even Mickey makes a climb up the famous mountain. I think that Imagineers were always somewhat skeptical of some of the things that Walt wanted to do. The same thing probably happened with the Matterhorn. You know, it's like, are you crazy, man? You want, you want to build a mountain and you want to put a roller coaster in it? And all the Imagineers then just couldn't understand that. They didn't get it. But as a kid growing up, I never thought about it. It just seemed like a natural thing to me to have a castle, a Matterhorn, and a rocket to the moon all next to each other. You know, as Walt liked to say, it's kind of fun to do the impossible. And the great thing was is the Imagineers got there right with him. And, you know, that's where we get the Matterhorn and Pirates of the Caribbean and the Haunted Mansion and all the other great shows that have come not only from that generation of Imagineers, but from the generation that's working here now. 
Okay, so here we are at the high point of the show, seconds away from finding out if there truly is a basketball court inside the mountain. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to the truth. Now, this is what we call a backstage area, an area that very few guests ever get to see. So it's easy to understand how Disney legends begin. Now, we're high inside of the Disney Matterhorn looking for one of these legends. And here you have it, a basketball court, or at least a half court. Now, let's get the real story of how it got here. Walt Disney uh, thought what would be the strangest thing to put up there. And uh, he talked to the people that were both the mountain climbers and the ride operators. and what would you like to use that space for? Because it was a big empty space up above where the roller coaster ride runs around from about two thirds on down. But that upper third, the pointed part, was empty. And so they put their heads together and they said, you know, we'd like to play basketball. I gotta tell you, I, I used to work in the park. And uh, we happened to be working in the Matterhorn one night and uh, we had gone all the way up to the top and we came down, and you know, we knew the rumor about the basketball court. And as we're coming down the stairs, we all stopped. And at the same time, as like we turned around, there is a basketball hoop up there. And uh, I made a couple of free throws. So that's one rumor that's actually true. Now, this room still serves as an all purpose recreation area for the Matterhorn mountain climbers. Now, since I've traveled so far, it would kind of be a shame if I couldn't get a game in before I head back down. The next time you visit the Matterhorn at Disneyland, here's something special to look for. A tribute to the late Frank Wells, a former president and COO of the Walt Disney Company. He was a mountain climbing enthusiast, and these expedition boxes honor his attempts and success at climbing the highest mountains on seven continents around the world.